okay ladies and gentlemen and my programmers you are learning c++ and this video is about how to learn c++ or what is c++ i am shahzad wahid presenting you this video through the channel of itsdiscovery.com remember one thing if you feel or you face any difficulties regarding my videos you can directly contact me through the contact us page of this website or through the official facebook page or through the skype id i will not be available on the skype id frequently so you can drop by your message and i'll ping you as soon as possible that's it so do you remember this program um i guess we uh, wrote this program in my previous video uh, we learned how can you just um, teach your compiler that if your user is giving number greater than 10 then my compiler will have to print out this line else my compiler will just jump from here to here skipping these three lines and it will print out wrong but be professional yeah i mean have you noticed that if your user gives an input of 2 presses enter it says wrong and on pressing any other character your um, output screen will go away but what if you want your user to try an try another number i mean if you want your user your user pressed 5 it says wrong but if you want your user to try more than one times how you can tell this thing to your compiler so we are gonna teach our compiler this thing today so um, we are going to use go to command or go to statement what we do in this statement we just simply um, specify two points in our program we actually specify two locations in our in, in, in our program um, i know you are not understanding what i am saying but you will understand after i show you an example of this thing so uh, you can say um, you can call it as start and a colon put a colon at the end of the start this is syntax of go to statement um, and um, then you can also specify end of the program so see out would you like to um, try another number so we are asking our users if they would like to try another another number so um, again number if now i'm gonna use again if statement sorry uh, i cannot ask him here for number i will have to specify an other um, declare another d uh, data type i'm gonna use that jar and uh, that's it so if stupid okay char or character if okay i will have to name this character num i'm gonna name it as option if option remember why i have used double equal to instead of single equal to because i don't want to assign uh, this y to the option i just want to temporarily use this character position or this memory location so if my user uh, gives an input of y uh, i can tell my user that he can use y or n if he gives an input of y my program will again start from here else it will go to the end so if option if user gives an input of y go to go to where go to start then my program will jump back to the start that starts from here and my program will again start compiling from here and running from here else mm -hmm. else go actually i don't need to use another else because it may it is uh, common sense that if user is pressing something else then why my program should end 
but uh, just to uh, make you understand i'm gonna use it go to um and so i hope my program is going to run without any uh, problem uh, let okay here you go yeah sure i was supposed to use option instead of character hmm okay for example i give input of five it says um, wrong would you like to try another number i say yes why so it again asks me what number is greater than 10 now i press 11 enter correct would you like to try another number i say no and guess what my program ends here i'm pressing any, any other key it will terminate okay let's see how much time i have got because i have a uh, few more things that i would like to discuss with you guys okay um uh -huh. i have got four minutes ah uh, enough so um have you seen we have we are facing problems um, of our fancy output we are not getting some fancy output for example user gives an input of 11 it says correct but okay take a look at like this way it says correct i mean my comp uh, program printed out this line correct but instead of printing out um this line on the next line in the output field or in the, on the output screen it printed out um, just after the correct i would like it on the lower line so this is pretty much this will look pretty much cool don't you think so let's do it so i'm gonna um, teach you something new today that is if you will if you would like your program to go to the new line then you will have to use um end line that command is called as end line so mm -hmm. okay give me a minute um, i am forgetting how was that thing again okay. end line this is this is also read as end uh, so let's compile it no way oh yeah I guess I am on a mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay, I cannot use end line command with the C in statement. I must use it with C out. Uh, okay, handle. I'm gonna run the program. Guess what? Now my program has been compiled successfully, but uh, it didn't go as I wanted it okay mm, wrong would you like okay <coughs> here it says wrong so i must use end line here i should use end line with the correct now just compile it now see what i'm gonna give an input of five press enter look everything goes on its own line i mean uh, two lines does not appear on the same line two statements does not um, do not appear on the same line which is pretty much cool but i would like to uh, i would like more readability in my code or in my output so we can use two handles at the same time handle handle i'm going to compile it i said two so you see the difference i mean now you see space between these two lines it looks pretty uh, much like more cooler as compared to previous output so this was cool huh i know this was this video was uh, kind of confused or um, i should not call it uh, how much time do i have okay it's last minute you can contact me through my skype id its discovery or official page facebook.com slash its discovery dot official this was Shehzad Wahid and you were learning C++. Thank you and bye-bye.